In this example, we'll draw the graph of y equals tan theta. The unit circle grid that we use to graph sine theta and cosine theta does not work well for tan theta. Using the identity tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta, we can get the values of tan theta from the unit circle. The exact values of tan theta include 0, positive or negative root 3 over 3, positive or negative 1, positive or negative root 3, and undefined. Reconstruct the unit circle grid, but change the y-axis grid line so they match the tan values. Plot the values of tan theta from the first quadrant. Note that we have an asymptote when the value of tan theta is undefined. Plot the values of tan theta from the second quadrant. Plot the values of tan theta from the third quadrant. We have another asymptote since tan theta is undefined. Finally, plot the values of tan theta from the fourth quadrant. Draw a curve through the points. This is the graph of y equals tan theta. We can extend the graph to negative angles if we go around the unit circle clockwise. Now we'll move on to part b. Is it correct to say a tangent graph is an amplitude? It is incorrect to say the graph of y equals tan theta has an amplitude, since the graph has no top or bottom. In part c, state the period. A tangent graph can be thought of as multiple copies of the curve shown. The period is the length of one of these shapes. Inspecting the graph, we can see that the period of the tan graph is pi. In part D, state the horizontal displacement. The phase shift is the distance a trigonometric graph has been moved left or right. The tan graph is in its original position, so there is no phase shift. In part E, state the vertical displacement. The vertical displacement is the distance a trigonometric graph has been moved up or down from its original position. The midline of the graph is along the theta axis, so there is no vertical displacement. In part f, state the theta intercepts. Write your answer using a general form expression. The graph has theta intercepts every pi units. They include negative 2 pi, negative pi, 0, pi, and 2 pi, extending forever in both directions. We can write this in general form as theta equals positive or negative n pi, where n belongs to the set of whole numbers. This means that if we start at zero radians, we can add or subtract pi to get the adjacent theta intercept. In part g, state the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero. In part h, 
state the domain and range. The domain is non-continuous because of the asymptotes. We can write this as theta belongs to the set of real numbers, where theta cannot equal pi over 2 plus or minus n pi, and n belongs to the set of whole numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers.